One of the complaints about the authorised version is that it uses Old English that is no longer accurate or relevant. In this two minute talk, we're going to examine whether the language of the authorised version is archaic or accurate. Those who are critical of the authorised version often say, we don't speak with thee and thou anymore. An important question to consider is this, did people speak using these personal pronouns in the 1600s? If you read the dedication to King James and the translator's notes to the reader found in many authorised version Bibles, you will note that the authors did not use the pronouns thee and thou. This was the classical rather than the common language of the times. In many languages, including the biblical languages, there are different words used for addressing the individual person, singular, or a group of people, plural. You will notice in this table that in the modern English, there is only the word you to address the individual and the group. The translators of the authorised version employed the use of the classical Elizabethan language to distinguish between the individual and the group of people. There is a very easy way to remember the difference. If the word begins with the letter Y, it is plural. If it begins with a T, it is singular. Let's look at two examples from scripture to highlight the important usage of these personal pronouns. Luke chapter 22, verses 31 and 32. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that is, Peter and all the other disciples, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that is, I have prayed for Peter in particular, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. This important distinction is not found in many modern versions. John chapter 3, verse 7. The Saviour said, Marvel not that I said unto thee, that is, to Nicodemus. Ye, that is, all of you people who are listening, must be born again. Again, we see the Lord Jesus Christ make reference to Nicodemus as the individual, but give an exhortation that applies to all who heard. As well as being accurate, there is another benefit of using these personal pronouns. The use of thee and thou is part of the beautiful language of the authorised version. In reading the authorised version, we hear God speak in a language that is not common and ordinary, but beautiful, majestic and reverent.